All right, hello. Uh, welcome to Mr. Tonic University, University Radio uh, Plays. We're right off the tongue. Uh, I'm Ben. I'm Harrison. And today we're going to be playing Bad Blood, one of the challenge scenarios provided by FFG. Uh, this one is f focused on Agnes, and we'll be playing as Agnes and Peril Agnes. Uh, Harrison is playing regular Agnes, and I'm playing Parallel. Uh, the rules, uh, obviously this is uh, blatantly against the rules to play two of the same investigator, but we're making an exception. Uh, and just to, we, uh, the exception is we're allowed to use our own unique items, so we can both play Agnes's necklace, which I'm 85% sure is unique. Um, both of us can play Agnes, and the scenario will reference Agnes in a few places. Whenever it does, it's going to be referencing me specifically. I'm going to be Prime Agnes, um, and Harrison is the alternate Agnes from another dimension, even though he's uh, original recipe Agnes. So, makes perfect sense. Nobody's confused. Uh, and uh, we have the game set up already uh, over here on this um, virtual assistance tool. Uh, so I will just, I think I'll just read the story text. Oh no, do we want to talk about decks first? Briefly? Uh, sure. We just want to be a over. fun surprise. <laughs> let's let's just give let's just uh talk about the vibe i guess okay uh i could start uh yeah, so i mean i mean so agnes uh we didn't really know what to do um too much since we both have the same like kind of pool like mystics and generally they're they're not one way or another so um i'm kind of flexy but a little bit more cluey um i have uh uh I did have a sixth sense, but I think hopefully, let me check. I switched it out for a uh, clairvoyance, so hopefully I can get a ping in there. Um, I have forbidden knowledge to get some pings as well. Uh, Peter Sylvester helping to keep me alive, but hopefully uh, uh, we can do some uh, survivor tricks. I got Grimm's fairy tales just in case we do fail. And um, uh, but uh, I don't think I did a really great job at at uh packing and healing in there i got a couple denies and wards so i think this is just gonna go great survivor well, seek sur survivor shenanigans that's okay because my deck had a lot of healing in it i'm worried about it might be too much but we'll, we'll <laughs> leave it a go i have um a good amount of events and then i have a couple healing assets um and a couple more attack focused assets um we'll see how it goes i'm not i i, I was a little People have been telling me that Peril Agnes is incredible, uh, but I was struggling a little bit to figure out how to make her deck. Uh, Dane uh, basically gave me most of a deck, and I kind of tweaked it a little bit. Um, so we'll see how it runs. Uh, I do have, I did add some experience to the one Dane gave me, so it is three weaknesses. I'm sure none of them are incredibly bad. So you know. Are you running? Are you running twenty nine? Yeah, I went to twenty nine. I've been doing twenty nine on each of these, and it's been going fine. You know, we haven't, we, ha we haven't just barely won every scenario. So, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm doing nineteen experience, uh, but I did, uh, but I did add in the thick of it, so I'm at twenty two. Twenty one. Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. All right. Um, I will read the story text, and then we can do opening hands. All right. Uh, you've always known there was something different about you. From young age, in your dreams, you saw another realm, another life, one of magic and majesty, of conquest and persecution. The moment you found that strange old key, the moment you recognized the filigree along its handle, the pattern in its teeth, you knew those dreams weren't dreams at all, but memories. Memories of another life, of a place called Hyperborea. And as the memories returned, the magic did too. For months, you practiced in secret, delving into your memories and honing your powers. But lately, your dreams have turned dark and grisly. Your former, el former self was not as caring or for forgiving as you. She was ruthless, power-hungry, terrible to behold. You've taken upon yourself to wield these strange powers only to help others uh, and not to hurt them. But you're not the only one whose memories have started to return. Elspeth Balden uh, first visited the diner a few weeks ago. In the beginning, she was just a patron like any other. She ordered eggs, bacon, and a black coffee, not unlike many of the other customers at Velma's. But there was something in her eyes, some spark of recognition or curiosity, that made you wary of her. Then came the question. Uh, first, she asked about the key you wore on a chain around your neck. You gave her your best smile and told you your usual lie. It was a fa family heirloom, a harmless trinket with no worth but its sentimental value. But that didn't deter her. She started prying about your life, about your family, about your dreams. 
Elspeth was no normal patron. She wasn't making small talk. She was looking for answers, just the same as you. You did some digging of your own, but there were no records of Elspeth being a resident of Arkham. And few people uh, you found who knew of, uh, knew of her spoke only in hushed, frightened voices and gave you very little to work with. Then came a call from the curiosity shop uh, in Northside. Elspeth had been searching for more artifacts like your own heirloom, even going so far as to utter the, same, the name Hyperborea. And searching for something that can unlock more of her memories, just like you. But she's not like you. That sinister smirk of hers, the way her contacts tremble with fear at the uh, mention of her name. You shudder to think what somebody with foul intentions could do with that sort of power. Of the sort of power your memories hold. Right, very spooky. Very um, spooky. So the board setup is mostly Threads of Fate. Um, a couple tweaks. The only thing we need to note here is... Elspeth is up, and then we have a resource on every location here uh, as a memory, which I assume the act will tell us about. So let's look at that. Okay. So, agenda Hyperborean blood. At the end of the enemy phase, if Elspeth Baldwin is ready and there's a memory at her location, we reveal a random token from the chaos bag and place it on that location. If there's one or more chaos tokens on a location without a memory, we return them to the chaos bag. If there are chaos tokens on a location with a memory that ha have a combined value of six or more, Ignoring plus or minus and treating each auto fail and elder sign as minus six. Return them to the chaos bag and Elspeth collects the memory. All right, so basically like every round there's like a chance she'll like pick up the memory from her location. And I'm gonna remember how to do that. I'm gonna remember to do that at the end of any every enemy phase. So that'll be good. <laughs> we, um, we take a, we put the chaos, I mean the token on the locations. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's gonna it like temporarily seals it basically. Cool. If I'm reading this right, so at the end of the enemy phase, we'll draw a token if if she's at a location with a memory and is a, and is ready, we draw a token, and then if the value of the tokens is six or more, she will pick up the memory and the chaos tokens will go back in the bag. Mm. Um, and a cyclopean hammer would be oh, she's probably elite. <laughs> And I I am unclear here if the I I assume the values of the spooky symbols will be applied. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like it. Yeah. All right. And walk down memory lane. You must recover the lost memories of your previous life before Elspeth does. All right. Investigators at Agnes Baker, aka okay, my location, can spend four clues as a group. Uh, Agnes Baker collects the memory at the location. Uh, if she's defeated, we lose. The goal is to collect more memories than Elspeth. Um, if all nine memories have been collected either by either party, advance. It's a race. Fun. It is a race. Um, Can we just kill Elspeth? I haven't met Elspeth yet. No, she is over here. So here we got Elspeth. Uh, she's a humanoid sorcerer elite. <sighs> got eight health. Eight, eight, eight. Um... The sign Yikes. of sorcery, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so alert, patrol, nearest location with one memory. Um, so patrol, I think, is in a couple of standalone scenarios. I'm not sure. Is it in any of the main campaigns yet? I don't think what? so, but the patrol keyword. It's like uh, Hunter, but instead of going towards a, a uh, investigator, it goes towards like a location of the patrol target. So uh, Yeah, um, yeah. Introduced in Murder at the Excelsior Hotel? I think so. And then it was in something else too, or of the Outer Guards maybe. I don't know. Was it the was it the uh, moon moon cats? Uh, no, that was alarm or something. No, I think I think it's only been standalone so far, okay. as far as I can remember. But um, all right, so she cannot be automatically evaded, and gets minus one evade and fight for each memory she has collected. Okay, so she becomes easier to deal with as as she gets memories. Uh, and when she would be defeated, she instead heals all her damage, uh, and we flip her over and we resolve the text on the other side. Hmm. Okay. Sure, nothing bad would happen um, if you. Well, I mean, I would hope that if you defeat her, something good happens. Like you get some benefit, <laughs> uh, especially because she has so much health and is so hard to hurt. So, all right. So we got. I think there's yeah, there's nine memories. So I guess our goal is to try to get at least five of them, right? Um, and I assume more is better. But I imagine that's probably pretty tough based on how these scenarios have been going. 
So, all right. So we are at Villainous Diner. So my character, my my Agnes is represented by the actual Agnes token, and Harrison is going to be this uh, purple circle. So, uh, all right. So Villainous Diner, a staple of East Town, perfect place to find bite and eat, strong cup of joe, and some interesting gossip. No clues. No clues. So don't like to see that. Um, and we need four clues to pick up tokens, right? Yeah. We do. So we could kill some time at the diner and listen to conversations of the patrons around you to gain two clues in the pool. It uses the whole turn. Okay, three actions. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess we could both do that and then <laughs> pick up the thing and not come back here. I oh, true. I don't know if that's worth it, though, in turn one. <laughs> um, all right, well, let's do our opening hands because we didn't do that yet. Ooh, a couple weaknesses. Those I'm sure those won't be super bad later. Um, oh, can we talk about what each of the Agnes's like things are? Because I didn't know uh, what what parallel Agnes's thing was until oh uh, until we that, did deck building. That's a good point. So parallel Agnes, I think her stat line is the same. Five two yeah. two three. Yeah. Yep. Same stat line. So she can when she plays spells, she can choose to take a damage to reduce the cost of the spell by two, and then she can shuffle that spell back into her deck instead of discarding it. So that's why I have like a good handful of events um hopefully i'm gonna get to play them a lot i'm a little bit worried about my draw engine i don't know if i have a strong enough draw engine i do have scroll secrets in here though so that should help but um yeah so that's her deal yeah. and then regular agnes if you don't remind people uh, yep so after agnes gets one or more horror uh you can deal a damage to an enemy at your location so it's a testless damage but uh, you have to figure out where the horror comes from and it's limit once per phase which is nice so if you had any way to kind of uh ping yourself you can you can do it multiple times per round like mm -hmm. if you knew the name of some ancient ancient one or something so i don't know anyway right. um so i'm drawing my opening hand mine's pretty good so far i feel like this is actually mostly what i want uh yeah set up i have a pretty good uh opening hand because this is this blood eclipse i put one of it in here after demon shit to me I'm 90% sure that because of the text and how the hex is ordered, it's for each each damage taken as part of this card's cost, I think Agnes's effect adds an additional cost to playing the event. So I think that damage counts. So this could potentially so you do can... five damage, I think. So but you would if, if I take if I take if I take four damage, right? If you take four damage, you can deal five damage. Uh, basically. Uh, but then I can yeah. heal it all in one action. So I don't know if that's a net gain, but it seems like it'd be fun. So that was a that was definitely a a rule question that we had where we were like let's ask Ben so if Ben doesn't if Ben's like kind of sure then we're just gonna we're I, just gonna roll with it. I didn't <laughs> consult with the Council of Rules nerds. I'm sure they would have told me immediately uh, if I was yeah. correct or not if we we're correct or not on that. So you know until I do that I'm gonna assume this is correct. It's and, too bad like deny doesn't allow you to deny like uh, things yeah, from player cards or whatever. You know, the deny I have a deny or two in here and those are specifically for <laughs> counter card effects yeah um and i also have mr david renfield we do have what's the doom threshold eight eight doom there's only one agenda though which, oh uh, god uh, one which, uh yeah i'm gonna go real quick i feel like there was like an act two to this but i don't remember what it was so i feel like it was actually more than eight but uh, maybe not let's assume it's not i guess well if it's All only right. eight then uh we're gonna have a we're gonna have a fast cast yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess I will get rid of Ward 2. I probably don't need that turn one. I'm going to keep the rest of the stuff, though. I'm all okay. set. I got my uh, arcane slot spells out. Okay. Oh, well, let me turn on the hands so I can show people your hand. Oh, that seems like a pretty good starting hand. Uh, yep. You don't have any on command horror, but. Uh, um, not yet, but uh, good, good setup stuff. Yeah, really good. Wow, because you get yeah un uncaged too. I could, I'll probably just get get both of my uh, arcane slot spells out and just uh, start going ham. And it's yeah. and uh, if I spets around and I uh, take take I mean and I get a good sign, then I could take I could start pinging. But yeah, I mean, what do we think our strategy for this is? Should we just ignore her for a little while? She'll pick up a couple memories, but. I don't yeah know. i think we like her she's really hard to hurt right now so i think 
I don't know if we're set up to aggressively attack her or anything, so... I might, yeah, I might start, like, uh, putting these things down and start heading down towards, uh, you know, some of the other locations, picking up clues. I'm not coming back into the Valmo's diner, diner until I get, uh, until I get some, some clues to bring back. I don't really want to do the, uh, the, do the extra actions if I can help it. Yeah, I'm gonna do some setup. I might do this triple thing next turn if we don't get an enemy or something, but... All right, so good. I'm just going to play Renfield, immediately put a Doom on him, uh, so that nets, it's a net cost of one. And then I guess I'll just play Shriveling, so I have that ready to go. And I think I'll just draw a card, yeah. All right. Oh, that'll be good. All right. All right. Uh, I'm all done. Uh, let me bind my upkeep button, because I f keep forgetting to. Uh, I'm going to play uh, Clairvoyance using Uncaged the Soul. Uh, that costs me one. So it makes it cost right. one. Yep. And then Shriveling doing the same thing. I can lower these. And that costs me three. And I'm wondering if I should just stay here. I don't, because I don't want to like get a locked doors without, without a, without a, um, well, unfortunately, Lord. this this location started revealed, so if we get a locked doors, it'll have to go over there. Um, oh, right, right, right. It's not your location necessarily. Yeah. So, like, if this location has less, oh man, wait a second. Is East Town is East Town the one that costs makes it makes you cost less to play an ally? <laughs> well, it might be. We oh, could, well, I get, you, why don't you, we? I could find out. I'm gonna move yeah. over here. Um, East Town. Oh, let's. The East Town neighborhood, situated on the northern banks of the Miskatonic River, contains lower caste housing, the Arkham Police Station, and the popular eateries like Velma's Diner. And you, while you're here, you could reduce the cost of each ally asset you play by two. Yep, exactly. Uh, I should have like moved up there and then played uh, Renfield for free. Oh well. Uh, but you can play Peter next turn. So. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Uh, so enemy phase. Uh, so she's at a location with a memory. So I have to. Oh, did I set up the chaos bag? Yeah, is it weird because it is it is standalone bag weird? No, it looks pretty normal. Got it's normal. I just on. I just don't think I pressed the button yet. So all right, um, it might have defaulted to standard. So uh, all right, so I will read this one more time. She's ready. Let's remember her location. Reveal a random token of the gas bag. What's the location? All right, we got the minus two. And then if they total to six or more, then uh, she gets the memory. So she doesn't get the memory yet. So she's just standing there. All right. Okay. And then, That's kind of neat. Yeah. It's an interesting way to use the chaos bag. Oh, no. We're running out of time. Uh -huh. Alert. Time alert. All right. Um, and then uh, so do your upkeep. Doom happens. And... Uh, I forget. Do we have the parallel be lead investigator and draw first? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, let's go with you. Okay. Um, all right. Nobody's home. Uh, attach your location. If there's no clues in your location, you just gain surge. Uh, okay. So this is, this is gonna attach and then immediately discard. Um, so I'll draw again. Oh boy. Well, I got Yikes. shriveling, so I, I can shrivel him, I guess. All right, I'm going to draw my card. Oh, more enemies. Any empty location at the end of the phase. Okay. Let's go here, I guess. Yeah. Oh, do we, we need four clues to get each of these memories, right? Oh, gross. All right, so he gets a D1 here at the end of the turn. Thank you. Um... Man, do I just blood eclipse this uh, night gaunt? <laughs> oh, you get that. You get that card back, right? Does it go back in your hand if you spend the? It goes. It gets put in my deck. Back in your deck. Okay. So. Um... Well, that makes sense. Why you have less uh, well, a smaller deck space? Because you're not. You're not. So even your deck is going to be pretty big. Yeah, I kind of want to do that, and then get rid of cryptonophobia, which is like a net me doing nothing except taking damage uh for the turn but uh oh, i guess i can put some of it on uh let's just take one damage i don't have to assign it to agnes i guess 
So I could put one on Renfield. Uh, uh, I wish that I wish that I got Chronophobia. That'd be kind of nice. It's amazing for regular Agnes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, all right. I guess I'll go. So I'm going to try to Blood Eclipse. So I'll use my ability. So it makes it cost zero. I'll put a damage on Renfield. And then... I take two more damage to make this be a four damage attack. Yeah. Good. I love that the math is the math is different because uh, now you don't have a minus two in the bag to consider. Yeah. Oh no, that does make. You know, I have to think about that every turn. No, I'm just going to assume being two above is good every time. Uh, <laughs> not worry about it. Oh, I forgot to copy the uh, cards for us to reference. I usually do that. It's here. All right. Um, All right, bad boy. We're doing a, We're gonna do a blood eclipse. All right. So blood eclipse. So I took one damage already, and then I'm gonna take two additional damage. So that means I do plus three damage. So that would be four damage. And that, but and my willpower is plus two, seven. So seven versus three. That should be good enough. So I'll draw the back. All right. Great. So I kill this night gun. And then I guess I'll shovel this back into my deck. And then I'm just going to get rid of Chronophobia, I guess. Sounds good. I mean, I really want to play these cards, though. Hmm. Yeah, we get rid of it. Oh, uh, you got a pop? I'm scared of that card. I know. Oh, I forgot. Perilous Agnes does have 8 6 for Health Sanity instead of a 6 8. Yeah. So. Y'all set? Uh, Yep. Uh, it pops great. It adds two additional minus twos to the bag, which are great for uh, Ooh, uh, what's yeah. her face to draw. I, I assume that it's, I don't know, the, with with Bless and Curse, it's always like it doesn't, it has nothing unless it's doing a test. So is that actually a zero? Ooh, yeah. Might actually be a well, zero. What about, actually, Frost Tokens would be kind of nice here, too. <laughs> yeah, I, well, yeah, I, I think all of those are effectively zeros for this case, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh Plus, they're definitely minus one, though, or, right? They're just always uh, minus one? Yeah, there? they're minus... Uh, are they minus one only during skill tests, or are they... Minus one, know. plus draw another one. Like, the Blessed Curse Tokens are not minus two tokens. They're... When you draw them during a skill test, it's a minus two draw again, or plus two draw again. So, well, I don't know. Whatever, I'm sure it won't any come case, up. In any <laughs> case, a, a, a super frosted bag would actually probably be pretty good for this scenario. Yeah. Anyway um are we worried about this wizard can i like spend some time here and then just head over there uh well i could tap renfield again and get an extra two dollars instead of one dollar if we can have more doom to play with all right are you, are well, you able to kill that wizard do you, you have uh, a shibling, right yeah i can kill him if we wanted to but you bring a good point about renfield like i could kill him next turn hopefully <laughs> That's all right. I went ahead and put an extra doom on Renfield uh, right now, so we're at four total doom. But that's fine. We got a couple turns. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put my buddy uh, Pete Sylvester out uh, for one. I probably don't even need any more money at this point, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, and then I will. I'll use clairvoyance. The pick up both clues uh clairvoyance only has three charges i hope we'll be okay <laughs> well you have two of them right and yeah. you, you had like a bunch of clue events so yeah a few clues how many how many clues to, like if we need if we need to get five that means we need 20 uh, clues 20 mm. we'll see mm. let's see yeah so it goes yeah. maybe there'll be some so enemies okay. we can kill to get clues <laughs> um. all right i'm just gonna investigate uh, so I'm at five, six, seven, seven to two, eight. Oh, eight to two. Yeah. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah, crushed. Oh. It. Oh wait. And uh, oh, I you take, take a horror. I take a horror, but I put it uh, on Peter. So there's no en there's no enemies to damage. I'm gonna right. put it on my buddy. But you get both clues. Yeah. All right. There we go. Uh, all right. So we both and, went. Uh, well, I still have one more action. Oh, sorry. So uh i think i'll just get a uh i'll just get a card oh and you used up a charge right yep i did all right 
Cool. All right, so enemy phase, we... All right, is the token returned? Yeah. Enemy phase, we draw a token. Ha, ah, minus three. All right, so she doesn't pick up the memory yet. Oh, that's amazing. That's as close as we can get. Yeah, so yeah, that, that was great. So she'll hang out for another turn. And then upkeep. Do it regular ward. All right, and then doom happens. So now we're at two, five doom out of eight. Okay, no. totally, totally fine. <laughs> Got no who's home again, so that's gonna surge. I got an acolyte. Ooh, where's an empty location? Where's an empty location that you can uh, ping this guy? <laughs> um, I'll probably head towards either Miskatonic University or Black Cave, because I'm definitely going to head to Rivertown next turn. Okay, so you want me to put him in the Black Cave? Yeah, that sounds good. Because, yeah, we definitely do need to kill these guys. I mean, I, I could put him here and I could go towards him, but yeah. All right. Uh, hey. It's fine. I'm sure they'll sure we'll draw more. Go go <laughs> go ahead and uh, do your counter card. All right. Uh oh. That's four oh, man. Fiends. Look look what that does. Oh no! You take the damage first. Dang it. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna f I'm they're probably gonna fail this, but uh, Rivertown is a central location, so it'll yeah. save me an action. Oh, did you heal Peter during? Uh... I did not. Okay. So I'm not gonna pump it because. Yeah, let's test it. Four versus four. All right. So, so I fa fail. So what do I do? Go to a. So I think River Town's the only central location. So you get moved there. Which is, I mean, you're going there anyway. So. Yep. And I just have to take a damage and a horror for that. Yeah. That's okay. Tragically, that was before. Yeah. Moving there. Oh so... well, I'll just give it to Peter actually. Yeah. All right, so our turn. Uh, the banks uh, of the Miskatonic River are lined with docks, warehouses, and small shops in the district aptly named Rivertown. And there's something unsettling about the water of the Miskatonic River tonight. It ripples and bubbles as though something's moving beneath the surface. So it's pretty easy to investigate, and there are two clues. Where are these clues supposed to keep you coming from if I we need know. four? Is the Curiosity Shop, does that have like 13, six clues in it or something? I don't know. The university has doesn't that have a ton? Uh, I mean, I mean, there's four clues worth over here, but it's a hor it's a horrible place to hang out. <laughs> unless I'm you want to, unless you want to take a horror at the end of, at your turn. Oh man, wait a second. End of your turn if you're in black cage, you take one horror and choose. Oh man, if you can end your turn here, that means you can kill this guy for free. That's a good. That's a good plan. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. I'm not promoted, so I can't play with it, but this card's floating in outer space. Oh. For me, at least. I, I, uh, I, if... There we go. There. Is that a better? Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, did I... How did my character get moved over there? Oh, oh I picked it up. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Um, are you ready? Yep. Yeah, you can go ahead and uh, do your turn. Do you want to go first? Is it a fast action or to pick up? Yes. All right, so ideally I would be able to pick up these clues, snatch up the memory, and then walk over to the Black Cave. Uh, do I have to be there? Yeah, I have to be there because I'm Agnes Prime. I, can, I mean, I could move there. I don't have anything else going on, really. <laughs> if, if we want to be able to pick up that memory. Uh, what do you want to do? It's pretty easy to investigate. But we could also. How we, we have to come. Are we going to come back for these ones? Yeah. Uh. All I know is that I want to end my turn uh, in the Black Cave. So you probably should go first and end right. your turn here. I'll, I'll play the Earthly Serenity and move twice. And that's going to cost me two to play it, but I'll use Renfield to get two money back. I think, okay. I, I think again. I again think I have already enough money for the whole game because <laughs> of the discounts. All right, so I'm here now. Cool. Uh, what's the doom threshold at? Uh, to oh, this guy has a doom on him too. Oh no, sorry. Uh, he's supposed uh, to have two. The... He's supposed to have two doom on him. Yeah, my friend. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're at seven out of eight. All right, it's that's switching right. hours. You're gonna kill some. <laughs> I'll, I'll kill our friend Phil eventually by playing a spell or something. So. 
Are you all set? Yeah. All right, so the first thing I'll do is shovel home, which will, should do enough damage. So I'm at five, six, seven, eight, two, four. Eight to four. Minus one, right. killed. Great. <clears throat> uh, minus one doesn't deal me horror. Um, let's see. So I have two clues. I guess the second action, I'll clairvoyance this place. Oh, Elder Sign, what is this? Uh, basically oh, nothing, Pragnus. <laughs> <laughs> but... uh, cool. So I pick up the clues. No, oh, wait, no, it you take a horror because <laughs> of clairvoyance. My buddy does. Yeah. Oh, wait, where's the other clue? Anyway, I'm just going to talk. Oh, they were stacked. Uh, I'm yeah. just going to use them all. Um, so I pick up a memory here, I guess. Okay. And Peter has two, two horror on him now, right? Yeah. Or whatever that horrifying upside down two is. Yeah. Uh, right. um, then, I, then I'm going to move over to the Black Caves, uh, get engaged. Oops. Was well, that your that was your last action, right? Nice. Yep. All right. And then because you're at the Black Cave, end your turn, you have to take a horror or discard two cards in your hand. I'll gladly take a horror and kill the Acolyte. Nice. And then Peter will also heal at the end of your turn, right? Yeah. Yep. All right, so that was both of us. So then we do the draw. Is there a token out right now? Yeah, there is. I guess it doesn't matter. Well, I could, we could get the zero, I guess. No, oh, I do the others. Or did I shuffle it? Wait a second. Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's a minus six or something. So she's going to pick up the thingy. And then these are going to go back. And now, and now next I'll turn. that's at seven. Seven, 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 seven. Oh, seven, eight, seven. Still, but yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, then we do upkeep. Oh, she doesn't move. She patrols then. Well, okay, uh, cool. I didn't real. I actually did not look at the rules again for patrol. Uh, let me just look at that. Is it over here? No, it's not over here. Hmm. Uh. You can go on Arkham. Oh no, there, oh no, there it is. Yeah. Uh, there during the enemy phase, step three two. Each, so that's that is the hunt when I believe that's when they hunt. So so she it's like when 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 hunters would move, and patrol also happens. Yeah, so she doesn't move this turn; she'll move next turn. But then she will start doing the chaos token thing immediately. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's not like we get a free turn when she moves over. She's gonna no. move and. I mean, only if but... we had, only if we had successfully like gotten this pick up this memory, then that could dodge her. Ah, uh, true. I, I think we're just kind of in a race to try to get five of them before she gets four. I, like uh, the doom threshold's so tight. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. How we can go much faster? Maybe uh, we could bop, bop them off of her. Uh, I don't know what the other side of Elspeth is. Uh, in other news, I drew a weakness called Ovrizilus. I don't know. It doesn't seem that bad. I just have to draw two encounter cards. Um, it's actually incredibly Yikes. bad. Um, yeah. Let's I hate Ovrizilus. <laughs> like, Conspiracy of Blood. Uh, uh, that seems kind of bad. I don't have a cultist out. It. I could just ward it because it is... Uh, I'll just ward it. Uh, am I supposed to take a damage to ward this so that I can recur the ward? This isn't good ward though. Uh, I don't really want to record, record this one. So I'll just play it normally. Uh, so this gets cancelled and then it surges. Oof, that's, oof, that one's also bad. Shadow ward. Oh uh, no. Uh, Alright, well, I guess I take two damage. Uh, I can just heal myself, so it should be okay. You're surrendered, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, those are my overzealous. And did, you, did you do? Did you do your upkeep? Yep, I did. All right. And then uh, doom happens. So we're at three doom. And then I draw an encounter card. Uh, well, this one's kind of. There's only one act, so this is kind of a weak card, I guess. So will three, but I'm at a six. I'll just, I'll just test that. Yeah. 
Okay, great. You got it. Okay, and then... Uh, Frando. Oh, there's a cultist. And it's just on me. No spawn. Okay. Yeah. Well. Oh, but, but, you know, yeah. I, seem, I feel like there's uh, fun ways for Agnes to deal with that, so. All right. Uh, are you able to Play get with. all those... Are you able to get all those clues and like pick that up? It really Which depends I... on uh, if I draw a spooky token whenever I shrivel him. Hopefully I do. Okay. He has three health. Um, I mean, as long as I succeed once. Uh... Like, should I move down there this turn so that you can pick those up? Yeah, I guess I'll move down there anyway, because you could always just do it next turn. But I'll, I'll go first, uh, regardless. So I'm going to play Scroll of Secrets. Uh, I will use Scroll of Secrets. I don't remember what the command is to drop a card from the bottom of a stack. Alt-T, OK. So I'm looking at this. It's a regular ward. Let's draw it, I guess. Uh, how did I pay money for that? No. All right. And then I will move to you, and then I will use my heal ability. So I test will zero. For each point I succeed by, I can spend a charge to heal one damage or horror from any investigator location. Oh, um, cool. Should I commit Frost of Power to that to make sure I succeed by six? Yeah, and you only okay. I think I will. I'm not going to need that for anything else, I'm sure. Uh... All right, so I'm at a uh, 10. Oh, and my friend too. Huge overcommit. All right, so that's nine. You got all of them? Yeah, so I can fully heal all of us. Well, uh, let me rephrase. I can fully four. heal myself. <laughs> um, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal four for myself. Do you need? To, should I heal your two horror? You think? think yeah. Would you mind doing the horror? Yeah, let's heal your two horror and my four health. So, okay. And that's beautiful. That's all the charges on this. Cool. And does it discard itself or anything? Nope. All right. Oh, did I add two curse tokens? I'm supposed to add one. You, right? I think you added two. I guess right, so, from so the... It's only supposed to be one. I, don't, I keep thinking it's two for Rob's power. All right. All right. All set there. Oh, um, you added the intermit. Okay, you're all set? Yeah, I played, played this, moved, did the heal. Okay. Yeah, that was great. Uh, so hopefully I draw a spooky token. Um, so I'm going to shovel. Uh, and I do. Nice. And I kill him. Top goal. And I take a horror. All right. Awesome. So he dies. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Thank you. Sorry. I thought I was the white yeah. hand. Oh. Um, <laughs> let's see. It's just three. Shroud three. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna do. Do you think I could pull off a look what I found? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, here's where I succeed. Uh, uh, like you, you failed by three, right? I failed by three. Can I lucky that to make the math work? Yep, you could lucky and then look what I found. Sure. And get two clues. Uh, nice. I have to pay for it though. Give me a yeah, it cost you all your money. It's okay. I got my friends out already. Okay. And then just what? Since you're here, I want to let you do something more productive. I'm gonna draw into the flame. There we go. All right. Hope that's not too scary. Uh oh. Uh. Ooh, book yeah. test. It seems that's bad. That's really for you. too bad. That's really too bad. Uh, I could commit. <laughs> I could commit one symbol from a bet from bad ward to you if that helps. Nah, that doesn't help me at all. I'm gonna have to drop some clues. How oh, the heirloom has a combat symbol on it? Why? <laughs> Why? I'm just gonna drop some clues. Ah uh, man, that's pretty unfortunate. Well, that was a minus six. Wait, wait, so what's the order of operations? Because I have two clues. I'll Hold drop up. them, it's fine. Wait a second. Agnes Baker may take up to three damage to increase your skill level by two for each damage taken. That doesn't help you pass, though. Even if I took... 
If I took three damage, you would still fail, right? Because we didn't commit anything. Yeah. Right, because it's you... minus. It's also minus six, right? So. Right. Well, basically, I could take damage to make that be a zero. I could make the elder thing be a zero. Um. But I do drop two clues, but then I pick up, right? Yeah, you drop. You drop and then pick up because this is draw the top card in the counter deck, then discover two clues. So I'll you... just keep the number of clues that I have. Yeah. That's right. too bad. Well, that was a bit of a bummer. That's all right. You can just grab them next turn. Yeah. Probably. Uh, all right. So we both went. Yep. So enemy phase. She's going to move to north side. And then we're going to... Are all the tokens in the bag? No. Um, draw a token. Minus one. All right. And then upkeep. Love that! I love that Chad is is uh, talking about the symbols on on uh, the heirloom. I, <laughs> as a combat symbol, because she has a damage ability, I guess. But, but she's not. She doesn't use that. She doesn't use combat. Uh, like even in core set, she didn't use combat. I mean, she, you can do like that fun. You can do some like fun fire fire axe or like machete yeah. machete Agnes. That's kind of fun, but. She has two base combat, so it's like I've never really lent into lent into the leaned into the uh uh the survivor like desperate stuff with Agnes. I guess it's a thing. I think uh, somebody I played with in one of our games we played with someone who was doing machete like machete Agnes or not machete, uh meat cleaver Agnes, that was kinda of fun. So that still doesn't justify this heirloom having combat symbols on it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I did my upkeep. Did you do your upkeep? I did. All right. And then uh, Doom happens. So we're at four, six Doom, all right? And I draw an encounter card. Uh, yeah, that one's fine for you, right? Just gonna, yeah, I'm just going to test that. No! All right. Um, you can kill Renfield, please. I should have tapped him during the skill test, I guess. Uh, please kill Renfield. But I could get two more money out of him. <laughs> I thought you. Were, I thought you already said you have enough money for the rest of the campaign. Or I don't. I don't. I feel like you always have more money. Uh, no, we 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 did we did the we did the rogue run. Yes, we last last time. <laughs> this is mis, this is mystic time. And we didn't have enough money in that run. We didn't we, have oh, enough money. We, we got like a barely acceptable, technically good ending situation. Not even. <laughs> we didn't have enough money by a long shot. Listen. <laughs> Uh, if everybody closes their eyes, I can take two money from Renfield and then kill him. But if if you don't close your eyes, I'm gonna just take the damage. We don't stuff. we don't we don't <laughs> cheat on purpose here. We right. we ask gonna, risk I'm gonna, things. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the damage and horror on myself. I'm supposed to use Renfield at the first test that happens every round that I forgot. So, all right, uh, encounter card for you. There are no cultist enemies in play. Is Elspeth a cultist? Nope. Nope. Uh, take the horror and shadow gate surge. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, Peter didn't. I didn't heal Peter last time, so I'm just gonna put a damage on him, or horror on him. Otherwise, so yep. I just get surge. Yep, that's fine. Put words of play into your threat. If there are one or more enemies at your location with doom on them, you can't damage those enemies or discover clues. Gross. Oof. Yeah, that one's kind of bad. Well, I should just kill the enemies. Oh no, I can't. Well, if it's if it's enemies with doom on them, you can't. Which is all of them. <laughs> all of them. Well, Elspeth doesn't. Elspeth doesn't, so. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, do you want to go first and try to get those last two clues and then uh, move yeah. somewhere? Um, yeah, I guess. I'll get a resource and just do read the signs. Do re Actually, Miskatonic University is pretty tough, right? Uh, I, think I, it's a, right. I think it's a four. So, uh, I don't know, I can... I mean, I'll get a resource next time. I'm just going to clairvoyance it and hopefully figure it out from there. Okay. Uh, so, I got an eat. Oh, great. Four. I did it. Uh, that's uh, not a minus. So, yep. we're good. I don't know penalty there. You want to pick up the... Uh... Yeah, so I'll grab the memory. So, I have two memories now. Okay. And you still have two actions. Um, I think I'm just gonna walk to the university, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah. 
campus is quiet and lonely. Several of the buildings are have been left unlocked for students, and the faculty is working late into the night. Um, so if we want to grab tomes or spells, which actually wouldn't be terrible for me to get my uh, clairvoyance back. Cool. All right. Uh, uh, I think I'm also. Oh, going I'm to sorry. Move. I grabbed you. Yeah, yeah sorry. I moved you already. I'm gonna also move up there anyway. Uh, I feel like next turn we could think about like trying to hit her. Uh, oh no, she still has seven. Yes, not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if she's at a There's... six, can we hit her reasonably? If I like, if I like Blood Eclipse at like max power, which is like plus three, which puts me at a, I don't know, puts me at like a nine. <laughs> um, this, this agenda is kind of suspicious because, like, if it's at eight, I don't see Elspeth going down much higher than like five. I, I mean, like three. I, yeah, I, I feel like if this advances, I think there might be like a phase two or something. I don't, I don't know though. I, I recall, again, when I played previously, we lost horribly. Uh, I think we assumed that this was the end, and it wasn't. So. Okay. We're doing okay so far. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, Alright, so I have one action left, but I don't have anything really good to do with it. Oh, good point. I should use my Swallow Secrets on myself to get draw something. Probably. Unless it's a weakness. Oh, it's another How many one. arcane... How many arcane slot things do you have? I just have shriveling and earthly serenity. Obviously, I've used this okay. one up already. So, <laughs> nice. Um, Ooh. are we all set? Uh, no, I one actually left. I'm just deciding oh. what to do. I think. Oh uh, yeah, I'll draw a card. Okay. All right, I'm all done. I have a couple okay. clue-getting cards, so I was hoping to draw one, but. And you already went, so. Yep. So we draw a token, um, shuffle this. Oh, uh, do you want me to? Minus do you want me to two. put the uh, chaos tokens back after? Uh, so you don't have to do. Yeah, if you remember, otherwise I'll just do it. Um, sure. Like you, you just click the thingy again, and it'll return it. So, all right. So this is at three. So she doesn't still doesn't pick it up, and then uh, upkeep. Uh, okay. So I feel actually, like chat. Chat asked this kind of, um, but let's say you pull a gas mask uh, for Elspeth. It's a minus six, which would just mean succeed automatically for her thing. Can you? What's a gas mask? Uh, oh, uh, elder thing. thing? Oh. Can you mm. do that thing to, or is that for tests? You know what I mean? Can you um, like reduce it? No, this is. Because this is, your, this is your, just increases your skill value. Oh, so you're that, right. You're so right. I'm sorry. That, so that won't help. Yeah. All I'm right. sorry. Uh, I did my upkeep. Did you upkeep? Uh, no, I didn't. Here we go. That was a right. cool, good pull. All right. Uh, doom. We're at five plus two. Interesting. Uh, seven doom. Where's the doom? Kill uh, him. Uh, kill who? <laughs> your friend. My, my best friend, Mr. David Renfield, he's a very loyal patron to the Velma's Diner that I'm a waitress at. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to kill him. Uh, uh, let's, let's, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll kill him the next chance I get here. Oh, this okay. doesn't do anything. Did you tap him yet? I haven't tapped him yet, but there's no skill test here to tap him with, right? There's no time, there's no time window after readying uh... until the end of Mythos phase, unless there's a skill test. Um, what's this mean? Okay, it goes down on the agenda. Gross. Well, I mean, I can ward this, which is also a way to kill Mr. David Renfield. Uh, yeah, that's this is effectively as a uh, ancient evils, right? Well, yeah, it is if we don't draw a guy to parley with. Uh, I feel like I should ward this. I'm just uh, yeah, I just use I use bad ward, and I'll use my ability. Uh, can I put both the damage and the horror on him? I don't think I can. Cause I the yeah, the, the cost is the damage on him. Alright, so I'll actually I'll take that damage on myself and I'll put the horror on him to kill him, I think. Cool. Alright, and then I should I shuffle this bad ward back into my deck? I think I you've wanna, been using the wards. I have, but I, I kinda wanna draw not wards. <laughs> I mean, but you have you have, I have this I have, so good stuff. I have four wards in my deck. 
Uh, oh, you do. You have a good word. And this is this is a bad word. Yeah, I have a I have a good word in hand. I'm gonna I'm not gonna return it to deck. All right. Okay, I didn't realize you had you had yeah, good, good think, words. Actually, wait a second. Wait one second. Am I, are we gonna fight her this turn? Is she gonna hurt me? Oh my god, chat chat did chat did uh, point something out. They might have given you a hint that Elspeth eats eggs, bacon, and black coffee. I, oh man, she did. She was a loyal patron too. Are you saying? Are you insinuating that Mr. David Learnfield is somehow uh, evil? I don't think so. He's in a. He's esteemed. He's, How dare he's you? He's evil. He's he's he, a, he's an esteemed uh, eschatologist, which that's which probably means, fine. You know, he's just he's just it's, like paid to to study the end of the world. Or is that is that what it is? He studies the end of the world. I assumed yeah. it was dev- I assumed it was devils or demons or something. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I guess, uh, I guess Milan, could... Milan, Milan studies bugs. Yeah, but bugs are fine, though. <laughs> you know, uh, that seems okay to me. Seems above board. Um, let me close here. Okay. You all set? Uh, yeah, I was trying to figure out if I could have him alive while blood clipsing, but I don't think I can. So we'll leave him dead. So this guy. All right. Uh, I just take a horror again. Uh, I forgot to do. Cut Peter peel. Sylvester again. All right. So I'm just going to do that. And it surges. Oh, gosh. Oh, you might be going on an adventure with On Wings of Darkness. <laughs> I almost definitely will. Yeah, I have no feet. So let's go. Oh, what is this? Minus two. Ready, Linear, Elspeth. Resolve her patrol pure. Just but she doesn't move. Yeah, she'd just okay. stay there. So. All right. But you do fail. Bye-bye. So you take a damage and a horror. Um, and so she has she's eight health, but her fight value is so high right now. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I, I wish um... she was. I wish she was picking up <laughs> those memories a little bit faster, <laughs> so that she'd be easier to fight. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm at I'm at eight, and and she already took the she already took the minus one. Yeah, I mean I eight lost minus one. I lost Renfield, so I could have been at like eight with shriveling or nine with blood eclipse. Uh, or actually, I guess oh, I think I did that wrong last time. I should have had an extra willpower because of the damage. I so too many like, clues. Yeah, with blood eclipse, I could be at plus four. That's still not enough. Yeah. I think um, I think we're supposed to wait for her to get a little a little weaker. Is this search for a tome or spell? I might just do that. Um, yeah, if you if you were here, I'd maybe get rid of your words of power or something. But I mean, I can get over there. I could just walk over, do an investigate, and then you could help me with the words of power. Would you mind? Sure, that's fine. Okay, move. Um... Let's see. Did I use my last click? Wow, I did. Move. So I'm wondering if I, because I'm gonna be clicking to get my investigate out. Should I put my? Should I prioritize getting my clairvoyance out or do the read of the signs now? Uh, I guess clairvoyance. I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's annoying. Which I could, I, sh- I wish I could give you some of my amount of the money. Uh, I know. <laughs> so, well, I'll need this money anyways. Move, click, click. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'll get rid of your words of power. Thank you. I will use my last scroll of secrets to hopefully let's see what's on the bottom here. Ooh, sword cane. That's fun. All right. I don't need to use that right now though, because there's nothing to fight or anything. I guess I could use it to. I don't know. She's still super hard to evade, too. Never mind. Um, and then I think I'm just going to. Tr- oh, no. I was going to do the effect here. So I'll search the top six cards of my deck. Which I don't remember the order of these things. Oh, man. Hall of Mirror is not one of those things, right? What was it? Tome, tome or spell? All right, I'll get, I'll get the read the signs. So I, I can do at least one read the signs next turn. So, all right, uh, 
we both went. So enemy phase, uh, so many tokens out. Yeah. And then shuffle this, draw a thingy. Skull is minus two right now, so she still doesn't pick up other memory. Okay, uh, and then doom happens and encounter cards. Oh, sorry. Uh, Upkeep first, then Doom happens, then encounter cards. So you can do your you can do upkeep Harrison. Yep. Uh all right, cool. Oh and, and did you heal Renfield at the end of your turn? Or not Renfield? Uh I healed Peter? Yeah, I healed Peter. Yep. All right. all right, and then now I added the Doom. So we're at six Doom, and then I draw an encounter card at locked door. Oh no. Oh no. That sounds like oh, no. I feel like I should uh, Well well actually wait, does read the signs let us dodge the locked door? You, you can ignore, right ignore any effect or keyword which would trigger during this investigation. Oh, it's, a, it's an investigate. No, this attached calculation can't be investigated. So the, it's uh drawn to the flame would let us ignore it. Um But well, I have a good ward. I, I do so do you. I, I also have a good ward, so but I guess I can recur mine, so I guess I'll 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 do mine. Do I? Yeah, I kind of want you, I kind of want you to do it because oh. I need my money for my spells. I'll end up taking a damage and a horror, and I'll shuffle into my deck, and I'll word that. Thanks, right. Blue Moon in chat. All right, All right. Uh, your encounter card. Lock door. Uh, must spend a clue or take two damage. Well, I guess I don't have a choice, or I can just ward it. Which I think I will. But must you think you can heal me anytime soon? It's a peril. I can't. Uh... I can't. You can't. You, you <laughs> didn't hear me ask that. Uh, I'm. I'm definitely gonna ward it. You're also not allowed to look at my hand. Uh. So, okay. You ward it's it. Fine. That's, that's fine. Uh. Man, you've been taking a lot of horror, but not getting the pink stuff, which is sad. So. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. I, I do have another earthly serenity, but it's like um so i could i could play that i could play beat the signs to get two clues and i could honestly i might i might just do this ability again to try <laughs> to try to draw something else That's good. um so why don't we do that so i'll play earthly let's put that in the trash i'll play earthly serenity for two um if i do the earthly serenity t do I, oh i guess do i need to do the earthly serenity test this turn, if I just do it, I'll be at a. I'm just at a five versus zero. I don't really have anything I want to commit. Well, I haven't shriveled anything yet. I could commit my other shriveling. I mean, we're definitely gonna go ham on Elspeth when she's. Yeah, I feel I feel like there's gonna be a large amount of murder phase, so I don't really want to burn up all my shrivelings. Yeah, you should hold on to it. I guess I'll just test it, because you're almost dead, right? I def I def oh, no, you're not almost dead. You warded it. I'm not almost dead, but I would appreciate the healing. And you only get six, and there's right. more than right. six. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just test it. We'll see how it goes. Great. Amazing. Ooh. I got So that's five. Uh, if only I had Mr. David the Renfield, because there's no way I'm going to do this action to heal one <laughs> at any point. And I don't can, I, think I... Uh, can I take three of them? Uh, you... Can I take two of them? <laughs> uh take take two because i think i want to heal my damage i'll take two completely take two. i think do i want to heal some of my horror nah that's fine um all right so that was one two and third action read the signs which oh, is beautiful uh will plus my int or int plus my will so it's only a seven actually it's not great uh do you have any book cards you can commit yeah. That, not that I want to, because I want to use look what I found in a shroud two location or something. I don't know. Do okay. you want me to? Uh, no. Nah, it's uh, let's, how many minus fours are there? It's just one. Oh, and the squid, but I'd fail on the squid anyway. All right. Well, let's just draw. See how it goes. Well. Ooh, look at that. Real bad. All right. All right. I did not get. I did not get the clues. Oh. Pretty pretty That's bad. Yeah. yeah. If only I had Mr. David the Renfield out. I don't know why you want me to tell him so badly. Um, what are you good? 
Yeah. Well, we're good. Sorry about that. My turn. My turn's over. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna put clairvoyance out, um, and I guess I'll just do it twice. I mean, I'll just do it once. It right costs now. you four, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, we're good. Well, you uh, take, get you take, take a horror though. But it's my buddy's gonna take take the horror. Yeah. Uh, can you get the other two clues this turn? Uh, I mean, this is what they're for, I'm, and yeah. it's the highest shroud, so I'm just gonna do it again. Uh, let me give my buddy the horror. Minus three. Let's see, five. Yeah, we're good. You're good. We're good. You're at eight. Yeah. Yep. So. All right. Cool. And then the uh, do you want me to spend them immediately? Uh, we could do it next turn, I think. Is there I'll any reason why we why we wouldn't? Uh, it makes the skull worse, but I guess I don't. I guess a minus three versus a minus two on the skull doesn't really matter that much. There is a skull out there. Yeah, we could do it next turn. Doesn't really matter, unless unless uh, uh, I get picked. Unless I get picked up. We drew two of those already. Is there more than two? I don't know. I think no, no. There's two night gods and two omens of darkness. So I think you're okay. I think just uh, let's pick it up next turn. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure we won't regret that decision. So. <laughs> I mean. I'm I'm not going anywhere, so we could do it anywhere else. So, <laughs> oh, that's true. Okay. We don't we don't have to pick this one up. Yep. All right. So you're you're all done, right? That was yep. four. All right. And oh. P Peter heals. Then yep. um, Elspeth draws a chaos token. All right. So we that that is more than six. Elspeth. That's been oh, going pretty slow. I guess, I guess if I had picked it up, it would have immediately triggered this force effect because the skull would have become worse. Uh, oh, which I see, I see. I think I guess we don't want so. Um, so yeah, she picks up two, and then she's gonna move. So we we could have her move on to us if we really wanted to fight her. She aloof or anything? No. Uh, nope. Uh, she's at six. She's at six. I mean, I, I'd only be attacking at a seven. I'd be attacking at an eight. I don't really have a way, and we'd have to hit her four times. We could do it. I feel like the odds okay. of that are not great. Um, but They're not great. <laughs> she'll move this way though instead, which I don't know. I guess it's fine. Yeah, let's let's not yeah. fight her. Okay. So she's yeah, over we're here now. Have to spend a and couple then... actions moving. Oh wait, wait a second. She doesn't move yet, right? So that no, the the no. token happened at the end of the enemy phase, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So she hasn't moved yet. So she's still here. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'll keep. Uh -oh. oh, that's gross. Where are clues coming from? East Town already been cleared out. I I I'm pretty sure the curiosity shop has a bunch. I don't remember if Town Hall has any. Downtown doesn't one of the downtown might also have four. I don't remember, but yeah, it's a very tight amount of clues. So a north side could still have clues. Oh yeah, too. yeah, we still have a bunch of locations. Just like, our goal is to get like five, right? And we're at three, three. or we're about to be at three. So that's all right. It's just, but we are going to have to run pretty far to get the other ones. Yeah, annoying. Also, this agenda is definitely going to advance before we get anywhere close to that. <laughs> so uh yeah I and mean, there's nothing we can do to stop that so i i'm coming in completely blind so if defeating elspeth removes doom uh, i did i don't know that i also have not defeated elspeth so i don't know what it does <laughs> um all right so i did my upkeep did you upkeep uh nope Perfect. and then Beautiful. we're Lovely. at uh seven doom out of eight so we're at the witching hour and then I draw an encounter card, Acolyte, but we can ignore him, I guess. Where do we want to put him? Uh, let's see, like... what does he do? He just deals damage, that's annoying. He deals damage, but I mean, you could ping him at some point, probably, because you take horror from random stuff. Uh, yeah. But I don't really have a good place to put him. I could put him up well, here if we think we're going to go up there. Well, with he's. Clues. We're not really worrying about his doom anymore because it's just. 
right? It's yeah, just gonna yeah, be his, yeah. His doom will go away, but there's pro. I assume there's the card that like adds doom to the nearest cultist or whatever. Yeah, so, I would say either add it to the curiosity shop or downtown. Yeah, you don't have any AOE attacks, right? Like we could put if we put nah. him here, we wouldn't be able to like stronger spirits off of him to hurt her. That'd be uh, cool, but no. All right, let's put him there. Yep. All right, and then counter card for you. Uh oh, oh that's too bad. Again. I can't do anything about it. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Uh, I guess what are we gonna do? Cause she didn't move. <laughs> she didn't move. It's kind of uh, inconvenient for us. Uh, I mean, will will she move if she's engaged? How does alert? How does patrol work? It's just like Hunter. So if she's engaged or if she's exhausted, she won't move. Um, but she's at six fight and six evade right now. I don't know if we can. I mean, I, yeah, I, I could try to blood eclipse her, and deal potentially five damage. Oh, that's then... pretty cool. If uh, you have like a Calvin or someone, they can just run interference and just she'll never move. I mean, she'll be, she'll be collecting things, but she just won't move. Yeah, I mean, you can try to lock her down. Um, I don't plan on doing that. Yeah, I get. I guess. Do we do we do we want to try to fight her? I, I could do blood eclipse, deal five damage to her. Then we'd only have to really hit her once, and then. I mean, I. Uh, I mean, I. You, you could ping her somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm at five, six. I'm at eight to six, so I could try a couple times if you if you do succeed. Um, five. Do you want six to eight? You... Six to eight is all right. Yeah, do you want to go first? Because if she engages you, then she could at least hit you and you could ping her during enemy phase if we don't finish her off. Let me think. Like, you can move and try to attack her twice. But won't I be... Won't she just be wailing on me for the rest of the game? Well, no, we'll just defeat, we'll defeat her because we flip her over. <laughs> okay, so we're planning I, on defeating her. I Yeah, I, I assume flipping her over will at least exhaust her. I don't know. Um, it's a very strong assumption. Uh, for, your, for your clue getter it'll be fine all right I, I still have a strong feeling the agenda is going to advance this uh before the end of my turn for some reason so all right just because it's an interesting thing to do instead of moving around let's go i'm gonna yeah. move oh wait but, wait, wait but before you move i should pick, we should pick up memory oh yes please 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 yeah okay so yeah so go ahead and move on to her okay so she's gonna Blood. engage you and we flip the, we also flip over to our side which, which does have a bunch of clues so oh you can spend money to get clues hey Ooh, i got a bunch of money <laughs> um okay. that's pretty cool what was it once per game yeah and i once okay. per yes yeah, so you could also do it if you had money but yeah so elspeth does not have doom on her right we could damage her okay cool all right so i'm at five honestly i think Uh, I'm gonna. I mean, I only have to damage her once, right? Hopefully, uh, and if I draw a spooky token. Yeah, if you draw a spooky token, you just have to hit her once. Uh, but if you hit her twice, it's also means I have to take. I can take less damage. Well, I succeed, so I do two damage. Nice. Uh, can I punch her? I definitely can't punch her. Um. Yeah, let me just do it again. Oh, that's bad. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not. It's not a spooky token. Okay. So she's at four. Okay. Um, and then Peter heals. Okay. So I will move on to you. I have no more shriveling, by the way. Yeah. So I'll do blood eclipse again. Um. So I'll, t I'll take one damage so it's free, and then I will, so she has four health left, so I need to take two more damage. Uh, she, uh, Dane, she's at, she's still at eight, it's her damage and, or it's her uh, fight and evade value that go down for every memory, and she should have two, she has two memories. Yeah, two memories, so she's at six fight, six evade, but still eight health. Yeah. Dane says don't miss, which means you're definitely going to miss, so... 
Um, yeah, actually, uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, do I want to recurve letter curves? I think. I think you do. Cause well, it, but if if I take the oh no, that still that still includes me. I still get buffed. All right, so I take three damage, um, and make the cost zero. So that means I'm at plus three damage, plus three will. So I'm at just at, so I'm at eight will versus six. Do you have anything you want to commit to me? Uh, I would just because I don't think I have the actions to do it or the time to do it. I would give you the heirloom if you want it which would put you at 10 yeah that sounds good Ugh, i hate it but okay yeah, you're at yeah, 10 you're gonna, gonna play the heirloom come on uh, i know i never do i don't think i've ever played it in the whole game all right so all right i don't do four damage to you uh, so i do four damage to elspeth this gets shuffled in my deck um, all right would that would that have failed if i didn't commit the heirloom oh yeah well, I would oh. if, if if you didn't commit something, I would have committed some of my stuff to be out of four because it was very bad. But I didn't want to commit my stuff, so you, you heroically right. committed. All right, so she gets healed, and then we flip her over. Oops, Triumph and subjugation, light crashes against the night sky uh, as your magic and Elspeth interact. A blaring, a blaring peal like an otherworldly siren calling for judgment. Sends you and Elspeth both to your knees. She reels in pain, digging her nails into her temples. You reach out with your power, grasp at her memories, and pull with all of your strength. So we can either oh, so we can either steal one of her memories, or gain four clues. Oh, is that the same basically? No, because because uh, we can prevent her from grabbing something if we just snatch a location up. But stealing one of her clues helps her be easier to defeat again. Oh yeah, because if we steal from her, or difficult to de to to defeat again. Which well, are is... we gonna be able to fight her? Uh... It's pretty. It's pretty unfortunate that uh, she's exhausted now because she's gonna get back up on me. Well, or she. I mean, she also go on me. I have a. Uh... I have a uh, sword cane. That doesn't really help. <laughs> Do we want to take four clues then, so that she's a little easier to fight? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay, I'll take. So I get the four clues. Um, and then so she's back, unengaged and exhausted, right? Yeah. So yeah, she's definitely gonna wake up and get back on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely living living for chat, throwing in uh, oh, bad man. blood lyrics. Oh yeah. man! Uh, all right, so I have one action left. You I guess, could I, you could you could move. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could I could move and like grab this token, so that when this advances, we have more than her. Oh no, no we already have more than her. Uh, oh, that's the agenda. That's the act that requires that. Yeah. Um, or I could attack her if we think that could help. Um, or I could do something else. I could advance the agenda. What do you think about that? What do you think about advancing the agenda? I'm gonna, what do you mean? I'm having <laughs> some uh, bad thoughts in my mind of some horrific deeds of the past. Um, <laughs> and I have, I have a low sanity, so I don't want to have to think about those for any longer. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play Dark Memory, <laughs> um, right. uh, but I could play it at minus two cost and shuffle it back and, and shuffle it back into my deck. <laughs> well, I mean we're still better than her even if it ends the scenario. What are we at? We're at we're at three. And I'll spend set two. Should I take a damage so I don't have to spend two? Do I need money? Uh, nah, all right, let's take your damage. I'll take two, I'll spend two money. All right, so I play that. So this is gonna advance, so this goes away. Uh, oops, that's the wrong direction. Um, oh God. My fancy, my fancy game graphic is not All right. Oh man, that seems bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a crackle of arcade power lashes through the, throughout the sky seeking out you and your companions for a brief moment the torment is unbearable the pain forks through your body like a poison in your veins a flash of light in the back of your vision blinds you then just as suddenly it is over but there is something missing something lost 
Is she trying to steal your memories? All right, so she attacks us both. Yeah, so she's Oof. two and two. It's pretty gross. Thanks for healing me. Uh, yeah. Oh, but I get to put a damage on her. You do put a damage on her for free, so pretty okay. I feel like I'm going to deny some percentage of that. Uh, I, feel like I, should, I feel like I need to deny the horror part. Uh, do I want to recur or deny? How many denies are on this deck? Is it just one? Just one. I don't think I want to recur it, though. I really want to be able to draw. <laughs> it's not these cards. Uh... She's going to deal two damage to me. I don't, I don't want to take an extra damage on top of that. Okay, so I'll deny that. All right, so she attacks us, and then this resets back to zero. Okay. Okay, so we have we don't have to worry about the agenda, really, uh, but it's yeah. just a timer. Yeah, so... Do I not have a zero doom picture? How do we resign? Oh, we have to uh, get all of the... We just have to survive long enough for all the memories to be yeah, collected. Yeah, I don't think there is a resign. <laughs> we have to get all the memories. So, like, we Gross. could... if Like, we could just let her... If we can escape from her, if we can somehow pull off an evade, which seems hard. Seems hard. <laughs> seems, hard. seems pretty difficult. Uh, if we can somehow pull off an evade, we could run ahead of her and, like, grab these two, basically, and then just let her pick these two up and just oh, true. just and just win by one right you mean like we could just hang out at the diner and just get some big yeah egg i guess what it. i'm saying is like don't pick this one up and and probably don't pick this one up although we need clues how many more clues do we need to get two more i guess we only need four more or do we spend your clues when no we, we did we did we didn't spend the clues okay. but we this these shouldn't be here i mean okay but but i have four clues so we only need four more clues to have enough to get all the memories we want we can obviously end the game faster if we pick up six of them or if we pick up more but i don't know if we have enough clue acquisition power to do that maybe, about maybe. To run out of i'm about to run out of that steam so but we could like at least get these clues i mean she's gonna be honest it's gonna be pretty bad yeah well yeah anyway it's enemy phase so this stuff doesn't it's happen up. though because she's exhausted right yeah so well she gets up a drink uh she ready is at the beginning of uh upkeep. Of, of upkeep so she doesn't do her stuff so she wakes up who do we want to put her on uh I, I have zero chance of evading her i have a sword cane in hand which gives me a chance i, I would probably need something committed to have a good chance i'd be at like a six versus six basically with sword cane <laughs> um I mean, you have a better chance of evading her, but you're also uh, the Agnes that we need to keep alive. Yeah, if, if I die, we, we also lose. So, but but if it's on you, I think you're just screwed. So, mm -hmm. so I'm going to make uh, that a lead, lead investigator's choice. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll, I'll put her on me, and I'll um, do some sword cane and maybe beg you to draw cards to try to get something to commit to me. That's good. Um, all right, so she'll be on me. Oops. And then upkeep. Oh man, I re redrew blood of clues. <laughs> you want to kill her? But I don't. I don't. I can't take too much. I only have three health left though, so the best I could do is like three damage with blood eclipse, which means mm. I could sh try to show lure twice and blood eclipse and be at one health left <laughs> and maybe kill her. But uh, I ran out of my shrivels, so yeah no i think evading her is still the better plan all right so then uh you did your upkeep so then doom happens uh i already have the one doom on the board uh counter card for me uh oh oh gross no eh. well i can't i can't fight that cultist Ooh. well you just have to do you have to find a way to do a horror a do, take a horror and yeah, it's fine We'll deal with that that's, like, that seems like a problem for like four turns from now but uh, i can't damage. oh i can't dam i can't, I can't damage, damage it. him dang it yeah oh man all right yeah it's pretty gross oh gosh okay yeah, that's also yeah. bad for you because you also yeah uh can't really hurt him nope can uh, you, you, can, doom, you, you can probably evade him though you have like a four he gets doomed when you try to attack him right yeah um 
Huh. Do you have anything mm. you can commit to me if I'm doing a will test to evade? Uh, I can give you a ward. Um, it's not great. Uh, I could commit shriveling. I mean, I could. I could. The best I could well, do right it, now. It's a, it's a will test to evade. So any, it's not, I don't need if you have will cells because I'm, uh, I'm using sword cane. So I can give you an. Uh, I don't really want to, but I can give you an uncaged soul. Two two will icons. I would that would be good. I feel like I'll commit. So let me think. So I'll play a sword cane, which costs two, does not provoke an AO, and then I can immediately trigger its ability without paying the cost. So I don't have to exhaust it. So I can evade using my will, so I'm at a five will. I'll I'll commit my extra shriveling. Um You'll be at so I'll be at six. six six versus six, and I'll get you to the eight. I'll get you to yeah. eight. It's eight versus. And I can't six. commit more than one card anyway. So. That's still that's still bad. Oof. Oh. Should I also commit my blood eclipse? I almost Maybe. think you should because you're you're. I think I think we're boned if we don't evade her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think you gotta. I, I think, think I gotta. I think I have to. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that puts me at three above. Yeah, way overcommitted. All right, uh, that's fine. We evaded her successfully. Um, Take that, Elspeth. All right, so I still have two actions left. Uh, what should I do with those actions? I have no cards. Get out. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll move. But I, she's gonna she's gonna follow us very quickly. Well, we don't. Um, we definitely don't want to stay we need, there. She's we a... we we need. Uh, I guess we, technically we could. We can get clues from here if we have three real actions. I we, almost we need almost four more clues. Someone should go north to the curiosity shop because otherwise we're just this. We'll have to come back for the acolyte. Well, because she's going to end up going here, right? Which is going to block us off from like getting these down to here. Like I was thinking, we need to rush ahead of her to get back down to these two. Mm. Um, we could split up, which is always a terrible idea. Well, but if we split up, um, we, um, let's see. Yeah, if we split up, we will, because you need to be on my location to pick up the clues. That's dang. Right? I hate that Elspeth was going so slow. Like, why, where was, where were the, uh, where were the, uh, elder, elder things when, she was pulling these tokens. Yeah. Um, do you want to smack? Do you want to smack my friend? Smack your friend? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, we'll, we'll give him a doom. If I do that, he'll take a doom, and then you won't be able to hurt him at all. You're right. I was kind of thinking you. I think you can evade him, right? You're you're at a four versus a two, so as long as he doesn't have doom on him. Yeah, you're um, right. You're like in pretty good shape there. And he's not going to be generating doom unless we come back. Yeah, I we mean, just never, we just, we just never go to the curiosity shop and lose two, <sighs> lose two turns. Can we win if we have two less turns? So it'd be four turns of her picking stuff up. Because if she smacks us again, I guess I'll survive if I take zero more, zero additional damage. Um, but. And you'll survive, I guess. I guess I'm not too worried about that. Um, right now, no, I have another Renfield I could draw. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think okay. run ahead. So I think I'm gonna. Uh, can I try to? Oh wait. Uh, I'm gonna spend five money before I move and get two clues oh, from the bank. So, oh, yeah. If there's a way that we could run ahead of her and then pick up these downtown clues then she will just have to move to the town. We'll just move her to the town hall, and then it'll be quicker. Yeah, like, I think we want to let her pick these two memories up. So we just need to have two more clues. Oh, actually, yeah. uh, can we get enough to get all three of them? Because now, if we, if we get six more clues, we could get all three of them. I and really can only commit to getting... Well, uh, if we spend time at Velma's Diner at the end of it, then we can get four clues from there. And here, uh, I've already moved into downtown. There's only two clues in downtown. So we would have to 
Can you get all you no, you don't have enough actions probably to get all four of those clues, right? Well, let me how about if I are you done with your actions? I am I done with my actions? I evaded and I moved, so no, I can I can apply draw card last action, yeah. Alright. Oh well, I got a special razor. Is that helpful? It will be because there will definitely right. be enemies. I'm sure it'll be helpful or something. Alright, uh so you can go. If you can somehow get off one of those clues, that'd be amazing. But I don't know if you can do Surely. that and also, and also evade the guy. <laughs> I'm actually wondering if I could bring him with us. No, you don't want to spectral razor him. We should just evade. I'll I'll bring him with us if I like somehow fail. Let me evade. Four to two. I mean, I like I, could... I got it. Okay, great. We just never worry about him ever again. Um, I don't have enough clues to pick up. So three. Yeah, I uh, mean, if you, where are you? Can you get to? Can you get two of those clues before you leave? Do you have a way to do that? Because if we see. get two of these clues, two of these clues, and only one of us needs to be able to do this action, and we could get three memories, and then she'll probably get this memory although it's gonna take her a couple turns i don't know if we could even sure. dip up, dip could we dip up here grab this memory and then get down here i guess i could do well, that let me use clairvoyance uh, okay. and then what's that where did this curse come from oh don't worry about that Oof, uh, minus four do i succeed you're at five right yeah or you're at eight yeah you're good okay good Curse doesn't do anything. I don't know. Oh, why you're take, take, take the curse out of the pack, please. <laughs> and then I move. Uh, uh, then I heal Peter. Alright. Uh, okay, so. Oh, don't worry about that curse. <laughs> yeah, people worry about curses too much. Okay, you know, it's it's usually not an issue. Um, I'm upset. Okay. Um. So let's see. With these two, this should be easy to pick up. We have one, two. Uh, wait, we have four, five, six. We have six clues that I can see on the table without revealing Town Hall. Uh, and then we have we have eight clues. Wait, four, five, six. No, we have twelve clues amongst. We have twelve potential clues that I can see without without looking at the town claw, town hall. So that's actually everything we need without looking at the town hall. Um, right? Are you there? Did I mute myself? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so... I see 12 clues. Yeah. Without right. looking at town hall. Because we have 8, right? Plus 2, plus 2. Uh, plus 4, right? Because did neither of us do the Velma's Diner? Yeah, we haven't done that yet. So we, yeah, we have enough. Uh, if we could scoop up, all right. Well, I guess we will finish our turns. So why don't we uh, progress, right? So, uh, but I, I think we're I think we're still in potential victory range. So, all right. So enemy phase. These guys don't do anything. Oh no, this guy's a hunter. But you evaded him, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. So he he'll wake up at being upkeep. So will she. And then we do our upkeep. Oh man, Mr. David the Renfield. Like, I'm probably going to play him just to be soak. Um, and then... Uh, doom happens. We just definitely can't go to Town Hall unless we want to fight Elspeth. Um, yeah, uh, maybe. Alright, did you do upkeep? I did. Alright, and then counter card for me. Ooh, uh -oh. Night, Night Gaunt. Don't like that. Uh, that's pretty gross. Alright. Well, I mean, I can evade it with Sword Cane, but it might mess up some other plans I had. Uh, oh, I definitely ward this. Yeah, that's a good call. Ah! I don't know. Um... So our turn. 
So I really, I really wanted to like dip up here, grab this memory, and then end my turn here. Well, you but, have enough. But I have an enemy on me now. Do you Could... want me to engage that enemy, dodge it, Cause and my, then move? I, I, my concern is if we have to wait for her to move up here to get the memory. That's a whole extra turn. Which might be fine, but we but we want to win in less than four turns because we can't get rid of this doom. I mean, unless we unless there's a reason we drop clues, I don't. I think the math works out that we don't need the town hall clues, right? Like we we don't yeah. need the. Uh, I, I'm thinking we could get six of the or you get three more memories, and but we need her to pick up the third one. Um, and I'm thinking and if, need... if if she could pick this one up instead of having to go up to this one, like at the top, that would save us around. Mm -hmm. um, I, see. I just don't know if we can do that because if you taunted you'd have to taunt evade and move which means you wouldn't be able to get these clues which means we'd be sh oh no but we could still get all the clues from that we could just spend three actions down here and get those uh but it's yeah it's once per game uh but it's not it's not a group limit once per game so we could each do it yeah once. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah and we have we have enough clues right i have six and you have so those nikons, those nikons are a little scarier to evade because of the the double chaos tokens. Uh, you're at a four versus one. Yeah, I guess it four does versus... double. Yeah, doubles a modifier. Do you have luckies or anything? I do have a lucky. I mean, yeah. The alternative is we just grab these three and she'll have to walk up there, and that could I... also, that could also be fine. I, I vote for that. Okay. Um. Do I want to try to evade this still? I can't kind of kill it. Is it easier for me to kill it then? Let me think. So, shriveling, I'd be at a seven versus three. Yeah, I think I just shrivel it twice then. And then move. I pick up the thingy and then move. And then you could yeah. maybe get those clues and move or something. I, I plan on picking these clues up, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so I'll just try to shovel it twice. Uh, so I'm at a seven. Yeah, seven both times. All right, pass. Got it. And oh, Oof. real bad. All right, so I take a horror. Hmm. Now what do I do? Uh, well, you don't want to be here. You might have to drag it. Uh, that's really bad. <laughs> um. Well, if I drag it, I'll need you to pull it off of me because it'll kill me if I if it hits me during enemy phase. Uh, I wish I had three health. There's nothing um, we can do about it. You have to drag it, and then I'll have to taunt it. Uh, oh, you don't have a shriveling. Darn it. Um, you, I mean, you have a spectre razor, so. Yeah, but you won't. Be, you can't like kill it. That's what I was thinking. Um, all right. Well, that's a bummer. So that's fine though. So I guess I have to do that. So well, I'll grab the memory. Spend four clues, grab the memory, and move down. Don't forget to take your AOO. And so he'll hit me for one and one. Pretty bad. All right, and then it's, that's my turn, right? Because I attacked twice and moved. Yeah, all right. All right. Getting pretty spooky for you. So I'm going yeah. to, I'm going to read the signs. Okay. It means I can't lucky, but okay yeah but minus you're one you're still testing it like a lot so all right we'll see i'm you got them all okay uh move and let's see i just want to look at my options i have no way to access two damage which would be needed to kill it so i'm just gonna pick it up okay well you'll get to ping it when it hits you at least <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, and Peter heals into your turn, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. So, did I? Where did my memory go? Okay, there we go. I could pick up this memory now. Is there a reason to do that? Uh, not really, because Elspeth's not even going to be, uh, not even going to be doing this, the token thing. Yeah. This and, we round. Only, and we only need. To, yeah. That's true. Okay. Um, and it just makes the skulls worse, so. Alright. 
Uh, so enemy phase. Uh, this guy's gonna move here. This guy, and she's gonna move here. And then we do. You get attacked. Do I do? Uh, I'll put that horde back. Uh, and I will ping it. And... Oh, was there damage on it? Is it at three? Oh yeah, I, I did hit it, so it should be at three. <laughs> I just assumed I was gonna kill it, so I did put the damage on it. Foolish, foolish. Um, all right, so then upkeep. Do I have any weaknesses left? It's probably fine. Um, <laughs> doom happens, so we're at five, five out of eight. Um. And uh, encounter card for me. But it's not so bad. Well, I die if I fail it. <laughs> so, uh, and you well, can't I literally can't commit. commit yeah, it's too, a peril. So. so, let me think. Skulls are minus fours right now. I think there's two of them. Uh, maybe you should pick up the. Uh, maybe we should pick up the memory before you do this. Uh, Just in case you die. Uh, unfor <laughs> unfortunately, I can't hear you because uh, uh, yeah, you can't talk to me during perils. Um, also, I don't know if that makes difference. Um, so I, I think I'm going to commit spectral razor, so that I'm at. Oh. Yeah, it's sad, but it puts me at a. Let's me at a six instead of a five versus three. That's the best I can do. Wish I had Venfield right. down. So. All right, fans. Uh, all right, drew a skull. So. All right, so take a damage and a horror, um, <laughs> which is sad. All right, so. It's game. It's game. Yeah, it's game because well, yeah, because we advance if Agnes dies, right? Yeah, if Agnes dies, proceed to resolution two. Rip for Roni. All right. Uh, I wish you could have heard me ask. To, uh, ask I, to pick up that memory. I don't. I don't know if the memories help if we get the bad resolution. <laughs> so, all right. Let's read it. All right. Um, All right. Elspeth has you at her mercy. She raises her hand, her magic threatening to tear you apart. She smirks. You close your eyes and brace yourself. But no killing blow comes. Instead, she yanks you to your feet and wipes dust off your apron. Come now, she purrs with a devilish grin. You are no whimpering animal. Don't you remember what they, you truly are? What we truly are? Then, without any further punishment, she departs. You leave me with only fragments of your formal life. Um... Uh, okay, so I guess Agnes would have gotten more victory if uh, if um, I had picked up the memory, but I don't I don't care about it. There's no victory in Santa Wounds. There's just uh, there's just winning them or losing them. Um, so and then I would I would be forced to upgrade Dark Memory, which is probably bad. Um, yeah, so yeah, I think yeah, if we if we had to hit this objective and have more than her, it looks like that's it wasn't like a win more scenario. We just had to have more than her. So uh, we were close. Um, uh, oh. Let's look at the what are the what are her upgraded things? I assume it does like three. <laughs> you, you take three horror or something. Uh, and start memory. So this whole scenario kind of messed me up because uh, Dana and I have a partner named Gaspa, and like it's a very <laughs> uncommon name. So it was like, like you know, damage Elspeth, and I was like, what? That's not nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Wait, what's These the difference? Nice what's the difference here? Oh, it costs four instead of uh, two to get rid of dark memory <laughs> upgraded. Oh, gross. Yeah, real bad. Um, same, same doom thingy. 
Like it adds a doom or take to horror or something like that? Uh, yeah, I think the rest of it's the same. Place the doom on the current agenda to advance. If it's in your hand, take two horror, yeah. The upgraded heirloom, does it make it not terrible? Oh, it has three health and three sanity on it. Um, After you play a spell card. Yeah, well, I've never played. That part's just... Literally... <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not good. Never... That's... <laughs> That's probably why I've, I've never ne played it. I've literally never played that card. Uh, Do you think that maybe it's good on on you since you play a lot of spell events? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's probably yeah, it's probably better, a lot better for Parallel Agnes because then you get the card draw. Cause, and the goal, the idea is you want to keep playing spell events. So yeah, yeah it would be better. Uh, I just didn't draw it, so. I, I think that was probably my draw engine, so I probably need something else in this deck to help my draw. Or maybe I wasn't supposed to start shuffling stuff back in until I actually yeah. got that out. I don't know. Do you think Do you think that uh, you hurt yourself by like adding to your deck? So like, were there things that you didn't see because you were clogging your deck? Possibly. I mean, I had extra wards, so that made my deck bigger. I also had extra weaknesses because it was standalone. Yeah. Um, I those didn't I didn't hurt too much. I, know, I, I guess I lost like two actions and I used up a ward and stuff. So they, yeah. they weren't great, but I didn't run into very many of my uh, survivor cards. Like I had Grimm's Fairy, Fairy Tales and Take Hearts, but I don't know if I even sur failed that often. Um, yeah, I mean, you tr you forced a failure by doing a combo. Sure. Um, I mean, I that was a fun I scenario. I, I, I don't... What are some other racing scenarios like that? Where there's kind of like the the giant ball of death in Innsmouth, but you're kind of racing the mob, right? Yeah. I mean, this, is, this is cool. It's a, it's a weird mechanic with, like, drawing the chaos tokens. Like, if she had uh, gotten stuff faster, I guess she would have moved around a lot more, and we would, maybe wouldn't have had to fight her here because she could have been already yeah. over here and stuff. Yeah. Okay. That was kind of unfortunate, right? Because we would have had to, we had to wait for at least two or three more turns for us, but to pick pick things up, maybe yeah. even four more turns. Yeah, it's hard to. I think it's kind of hard to to judge that. Um, but uh, yeah, it definitely affects it. This map's also like very big, and we were playing Agnes's, and Agnes's do not have good movement <laughs> compression. Yeah. Uh, I do hate. I do hate that. Like the the River Town location is like barely it's barely connected to other things like it's like i really wish there was a little way from to get from river town to north side because otherwise it's kind of pretty hard to get to other places yeah um i wonder if we should have run like uh oh man we could have we could have both run open gates like we could have both run like two open gates and then, had like a, and then had like a pretty good chance to like drop them around the map. Dang it, that would have been very cool. So uh, open gates, open. You can jump into other friends' open gates. They don't have like memory of who who's who belongs right. to them. There's no memory there. It's just you can move from one open gate to another, and there's like a limit of like three in play or something. I think. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Uh, that would have been good. Oh well, because then we could have like dropped the we could have dropped one over here and like over here and like then we could have dipped up there and teleported around how many memories did we have uh we got four and we could have had five and, and we could have had five like if i had picked one up during this this failure um yeah we, we we wouldn't be able to get all four on the board uh blue moon but we could have like each had two so that we had like a good chance of both drawing at least one or one of us drawing two so we could get at least one teleport around the board yeah could have been cool but I don't know. It was it was fine. Uh, yeah, this deck. I I don't think I didn't really need the money. Like I spent most of it because there was a spend money thingy over here. But I, I do appreciate the earthly serenities. Like you use them, you use them, and we were using our health and sanity as resources, definitely. So yeah, that that seemed pretty effective. Um, they're still kind of they're a little bit. They feel slow, so you gotta play one and then you gotta commit cards to like actually get all six heals off. Like if I had succeeded by one more point, then I would have uh had one more horror healing probably and not died. 
I mean, you know, so you're right. My mistake was I should have never healed you. I should have always healed me. Um, that, uh, I don't agree <laughs> with that. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think she's interesting. Um, like, like all my stuff was pretty cheap. I, I, if I had had like hollowed mirror out or or gotten her necklace out, then I think it might have swung a lot more in our favor. So maybe. Maybe I just need a little bit more card draw to help be more consistent there. Um, I think someone mentioned in chat maybe like running initiates instead of uh, um, instead of Renfield would have been better. Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering if um if like if you did have especially a bigger multiplayer like a Calvin or like a Rita or something and just like you know just have someone just uh go ham like run straight to the uh curiosity shop if you could just leave elspeth there for the whole game and then have other people pick it up because like uh like uh jeffa whoop says like you know you could ignore the doom clock if everybody can just take two damage and do horror yeah that's true if if we were a little bit more durable like yeah again if i got hollowed mirror out i would have been spamming heals and we could have been in great shape um wait uh is uh i did have a question about that does hollowed mirror can you run that again like because i thought that that bonded cards work a little funny where like they get removed uh, from the game or something the original hollowed mirror if it gets discarded it removed the hasubi melodies from the game because the wording on it was weird but the upgraded hollowed mirror doesn't have that extra wording so even if that got trashed you could still replay it oh but, so you could replay the hollowed mirror but and but the, the yeah but the infinite idea with this is like the upgraded hollowed mirror um where is it here it is the upgraded hollowed mirror you can heal three uh with it and then draw a card but mm -hmm. i could i could use my ability to take a damage so i could use it to effectively heal two and draw a, draw a card and shuffle it back into my deck oh wow so like that's I pretty would, I could keep recurring them that way, you know, if if yeah. I needed to. Hold me a spell. It's not. Uh, soothing melody is the spell though. So a soothing melody. Once okay, once cool. it's in my deck, I'd be able to pull it out. Yeah, I I feel like arcane initiate might have been the way to go, to draw out my spells quickly, and then I would you know thin my deck down enough that I could, um, get get my get the necklaces out and stuff. I might have been a little better. Uh, I mean, I was worried about it at first about uh. Like, if we would run into a situation where, because, uh, like, Mystics sometimes take a while to ramp up. Maybe not you, because you're running events, but uh, I was pretty happy with my opening hand, because I think that this could have went south really fast if I, you know, because, like, I didn't see half, more than half of my deck. I have 18 yeah. cards in my, I have 18 cards in my draw pile, so, like, I could have definitely not seen many of my spells, but. Yeah, we also, we only had 10 turns maybe 10 and a half no it's 10 turns right because i added a doom at one point <laughs> so we had 10 and i died in the 10th of those the 10th of those phase so like but yeah if you were playing like a seeker or a rogue or something you probably would have milled your deck by now <laughs> um, yeah so. and we're not we're, we're not playing with like a like a min maxed team we're just kind of yeah. doing with the uh i mean i think it's fun and yeah it's probably mean, the, mo the most poorly that I, uh, we've ever I, done with I, I, i'm surprised <laughs> we didn't die horribly in this kid scenario because uh, we, <laughs> we, we were both playing skids um we, we you know who you know who died horribly skids his mother because yeah. we <laughs> because we didn't pay those hospital debts also didn't didn't we heroically sacrifice one of the rollins and the rollins one to win or did we not have to do that, Spo that. spoilers oh. for that if you haven't watched it yet <laughs> i don't know yeah, I, I think this is a cool scenario. Uh, I don't. It's hard to say if it was the hardest of the ones we've done so far, just because we were doing double Mystic, and I I think that's not an ideal uh, duo. Like you know, it's not as as good as like just a Rogue Seeker or or, or a Guardian Seeker type of thing. But mm -hmm. uh, I think it's still a good challenge, still fun. And yeah, I like the Elspeth. I like her mechanic. Uh, it's an interesting way to use the Chaos Tokens, and uh, she's definitely very scary. Uh, I think someone in chat said like scarier than Udmordhoth or whatever by a lot. <laughs> um, she's it's true. very, very it's tough. True. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, do you have anything else to say? Or should I wrap this up? 
Uh, no, just catch us, catch us uh, sometime in March when we play our final scenario, right? Uh, yeah. When Wendy and Blessed Wendy. Yeah. What? Shoot, I don't remember what it's called. Red Tide Rising. Yeah. Um. So that'll be Double Wendy. I'm not sure we decide when we do it yet. Maybe two weeks. I don't know. I like. Well, 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 it'll be on our socials, which of course you can uh, find at uh, social dot mur dot fm um as well as i think it's the links in the twitch and probably in youtube uh thanks everyone for joining us uh if you want to support the cast uh you can support us on patreon um but also you're doing all the youtube and twitch things liking subscribing following all that jazz is also helpful to uh defeat the algorithm or whatever whatever evil uh ai uh controls who sees videos and stuff so <laughs> Thanks All for right. joining us, chat too. It was fun to play with you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I think we'll sign off then. So thanks, everybody. We'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.